Death is one of the things that never gets easier every time we experience it. Losing a loved one is a challenge, especially for people who lose them. However, aside from funerals and wakes, there are other ways people mourn and grieve the dead. Welcome to The Bestes, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the strangest death rituals all over the world. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. In most countries, people hold a wake, attend a funeral, read eulogies, bury them, or cremate them, and that's it. But in other countries, there are a lot of rituals involved when a loved one has lost someone. Some of us actually just thought we'd say condolences and be there for them would be enough, but Apparently, there are a lot of strange rituals about death that were practiced before and even until now. For people who have traveled the world, we may have noticed how each country had their own customs and different traditions, which best represent their cultures. These cultures are not only represented through food, festivals, weddings, and history, but also even in death. Number 1. Sati Hindus have a strange practice called Sati, or often spelled as Sati. This is when a widow is burned to death on her husband's funeral pyre. The widows each do the strange practice voluntarily or by force. Aside from being burned, others also get buried alive or maybe even drowned. This was such a popular practice done in southern India, especially among the higher castes of society. The Hindu practice was considered the highest expression of wifely devotion to her dead husband. It was then outlawed in 1827, but it has still occasionally occurred in some parts of India. Number 2. Mortuary Totem Poles and somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, Native Americans also have their own strange ritual called the Mortuary Totem Poles. These are the tall cedar poles with multiple figures which are carved by the Native Americans. These poles have a cavity on top used to hold a burial box which contains the remains of a chief or an important person. Placing the remains in a box a year after the death of the person is a part of their ritual. The box then goes into the cavity and it's hidden by a frontal board. Some actually carve and paint the board with a crest. This crest would appear large due to its shape and design. We may have seen these totem poles in movies with Native American themes. And we suppose this might be the first we finally find out what these totem poles are for. Number 3. The Viking Funeral Vikings also have their own strange but somehow awesome tradition called the Viking Funeral. Their funerals and burial rituals were rooted from their pagan beliefs. They believed that death would lead them into an afterlife and into one of the nine Viking realms. Ever since they found out about this, they did their best to send the deceased to a successful afterlife. They did this either by cremation or inhumation. Some of you may have seen this done by Vikings in movies and other television series. If you think that's bizarre, their funeral for a chief or a king is even stranger. One account even mentioned that a chief's body was placed in a temporary grave for 10 days while everyone else prepared clothes for him. That's not all that made this ritual strange. Among his thrall of women, one should volunteer to join the chief into the afterlife. This woman was guarded day and night while she was given loads of alcohol. As soon as the funeral ceremony started, she was required to sleep with every man in the village. She later on gets strangled by a rope and stabbed by the village matriarch. Both bodies serve as the cremation pyre on a wooden ship. And as we've seen in films, someone then shoots an arrow which sets fire to the cremation pyre. 
So we've learned about the Indian Sati, the Native Americans' chotem poles, even the Vikings' funerals. And now we're about to know more about the ritual finger amputation of the Dani people. Number 4. Ritual Finger Amputation of the Dani People The Dani people of Papua New Guinea believe that the physical representation of their emotional pain is part of the grieving process. These people have used pain to express sorrow and suffering, and that was part of the reason why the ritual finger amputation was necessary. In addition to expressing pain and sorrow, they believe the ritual finger amputation also gratified and drove the spirits away as well. They believe that the essence of the deceased also causes them lingering spiritual turmoil. This tradition is now banned, however, you can still see some women from the community who have mutilated fingertips. These are a lot of strange practices all over the world, and we obviously won't have the chance to see this done now. Number 5. Fama Dayana A ritual we can still see until today is from southern highlands of Madagascar called Fama Dayana Drazana, or also known as Fama Dayana. This is a traditional festival used to honor the dead, which is most commonly practiced. Fama Dayana occurs every seven years during winter in Madagascar, from July to September. The ceremony is considered festive, which makes tears and crying banned. It starts once the corpses are exhumed from their graves and rewrapped in their new shrouds. And before the bodies are re-entered, they are hoisted up and carried around their tombs several times. Weirdly, the reason for this is for the corpses to become familiar with their resting places. This festival also offers the deceased family members to be reunited in one single family tomb. In addition to the tears and crying ban, this ritual also features loud music, dancing, parties, and feasting. The last Fama Dayana was done back in 2011, so there's a chance we can still catch the next Fama Dayana. Number 6. Salekana In another Indian ritual which was the last vow prescribed by the Jain Ethical Code of Conduct is the Salekana, which is also known as Santhara. Jain ascetics observe this at the end of their lives by gradually reducing the intake of food and liquids until they are fasting at the end. The Salekana was and is still a highly respected practice in the Jain community. However, this vow is taken voluntarily only when death is near. It can even last up to 12 years which allows the individual to reflect back on his life, purge old karmas, and even prevent the creation of new ones. The Supreme Court of India lifted the ban on this ritual in 2015 despite the many controversies that surround it. And last but not the least, is the Zoroastrian Towers of Silence. Another well-respected ritual that was practiced before is the Zoroastrian Towers of Silence, or more famously known as Dakma. It's a funerary structure used by people of Zoroastrian faith, which consists of disposing of the dead by exposing the bodies to the sun and the vultures. As per their belief, the four elements are sacred and are believed to not be polluted by the disposal of the dead through cremation and burial. The four elements actually made us think of the Avatar too. But anyways, to avoid polluting such elements, Zoroastrians expose the corpses to scavenging animals. The Towers of Silence are raised platforms with three concentric circles within them. Bodies of men are arranged on the outer circle, while bodies of women are arranged in the middle circle, and then the bodies of children are placed in the inner circle. These bodies then slowly and gradually attract vultures, which come and eat their flesh. Bones are left up to dry and are bleached by the sun before it's placed in an ossuary. These towers are things you can find both in Iran and India. 
and we thought only festivals in other countries and cultures were the only things we can look forward to. However, their strange death rituals and funerals are also another way of getting to know their culture. It may seem like a sad idea, but this gives us a chance to know how these races handle death and sorrow. Aside from that, these rituals also become a way to show the whole world how much these cultures respect their chiefs, kings, and leaders. However, we won't be lying to you. Some of these rituals tend to be such scary experiences for women before. Imagine, some women were forced to be burned, drowned, or even buried alive once they are widowed. But we can't deny the fact that these rituals are part of each of these cultures' traditions and history. What strange ritual did you find most interesting? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest, and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching, and until our next Bestest video.